Hey guys, for the useless you know that if you are a developer, you can go ahead and download Apple's iOS 5 Beta 2. Yay, the Beta 2 is out. So now, when this first beta will expire, the 4th of September, I think, then it's safe for at least developers. Obviously, we did know that. But uh, if you're running on Beta 1, mm, you should update pretty soon in some way because it, it's, it's not a safe place for you anymore. So what have they fixed? Well they have fixed a lot of things in this latest beta so I'm not going to mention all of them but uh, some stuff is obviously this wireless IQ sync, this uh, new improved lock screen notification is a little tweaked there but I mean there's tons of things that they have edited with the accounts, the address book, airplay, Apple TV assistant, Bluetooth and um, yeah, there's most like things that they have fixed, but there are also some uh, like new stuff with the calendars. Like uh, now, all mobile calendars were duplicated after turning calendar syncing off and back on. I mean, th there is just tons of things here. Pretty interesting. A lot of like graphics updates that they have changed and fixed, and then new stuff. Maybe not like kind of interesting if you are kind of hardcore, but yeah. And then a ton of new stuff in iCloud backup, like four new big things. So books we have iCloud storage so I mean there's a lot of iCloud stuff a lot of iMessage stuff a lot of iTunes stuff MMS reminders springboard UI automation UI kit yeah I I'll provide everything in the description web kit Wi-Fi syncing if you, if you want to go ahead and read the full release you know everything that they've changed in this update so Apple they're working hard they're doing this good so see